Create a Microsoft Teams virtual facility tour with SharePoint Spaces, HLS Show Me How. Hi, I am your host, Michael Giannotti, and I am a Microsoft Teams technology specialist working in Microsoft's Healthcare and Life Sciences Group. You can always find myself and all my colleagues on our site at aka.ms slash HLS blog. That's aka.ms slash HLS blog. So SharePoint Spaces is a feature that was just recently released in preview, and it allows the most natural way of interacting with three-dimensional objects, whether they're 360 photos, 360 videos, CAD models, um, they can be medical models, molecule models. The beauty of it is it allows you to easily upload and then make accessible for your users in a natural interactive way right through a web page, those three dimensional imagery, right? So instead of having to put on a big set of, you know, virtual goggles, which it does facilitate by the way, and we'll see that uh, how that can be done directly. You don't need that. All you need is a browser or Microsoft Teams in this case, because we know underneath every Microsoft Teams instance is, you got it, a SharePoint site. So we're going to take a look at how we can create very quickly using nothing more than a simple webcam, uh, not webcam, excuse me, a simple 360 cam like this. This is my older Ricoh Theta. I've had it a number of years. They've had several models beyond. There's things from Insta360. It's all kinds of great uh, products out there that will do this, but at a very low cost and be able to do what we're going to take a look at, which is a virtual facilities tour. Now, that's just the beginning. Today's video, we're going to focus on that, this kind of quick hit, quick and dirty that you can leverage today uh, and something that's great, you know, to be able to get your feet wet with. But we're going to be expanding on this and showing how to do all kinds of things from medical models to uh, looking at research and development with pharma, etc. But let's go ahead and let's get started with today's demonstration where we take a look at how to do a virtual facilities tour. Again, kind of an entry level quick hit, get your feet wet and get started. All right, so here we're looking at a SharePoint site and it's actually, you can see it says it's a public group, new board on hiring. It's actually the SharePoint site that underlies this particular Microsoft team. So what we're gonna do is take a look at this page that I set up very quickly and then we're gonna walk through how to build all this from scratch. And you can see here I have a very quick and dirty three-dimensional view that I can click and hold my mouse and scroll around, go up and down. Um, we can do things, you know, for example, like select one of these objects and now I'm looking around a room and, oh, who's that? I recognize that guy. <laughs> and so we're here, this is in the Microsoft offices. I can click and exit and I can go from room to room and actually see what the facilities looks like. Oh, there he is again, without actually ever being there. Now, these are all images. We could do the same with 360 video where we can interactively move through and then explore spaces as we go over time and video. But we're gonna to stick to something very simple for today's example of how to just quickly set up a three-dimensional uh, tour. Now, the beauty of it is because I created that within this team, you can see here added a new tab. And if I select facilities tours, that tab, it's a SharePoint tab. And look, we're getting the same experience without ever leaving Microsoft Teams, right? And here I did it for a new board, you know, new hire onboarding. So people could get familiar without actually going to the facilities first and foremost. But how do we do that? Well, let's take a look. We're gonna go step by step and we're going to, in this case, create a team and I'm just gonna call this, we'll say from scratch, I'm gonna leave it right open. We'll say uh, building X facilities tour, All right? So we're gonna create our team. I'm gonna go ahead and say next. Nice work, oh, that's great. And it's gonna ask for some people, I don't need to. We're gonna just keep this wide open. And so we set up our team, but the next step is, and we're waiting for that files area. And there we go. It looks like it's gone ahead. 
Let's just do some quick clicks. There we are. So now that we have, it says we have our area for files, I can actually open in SharePoint this website. Now you'll notice when I click the down arrow here, it has new and I don't see anything around creating a SharePoint space. So, and I don't see it there. If I go to the home page, we're not going to see it there either. And you're like, well, wait a minute, Mike, you said that it's in preview and it should be available. So here's what we need to do from the home page of this particular site or any new SharePoint site. I'm going to go here to the gears where it says settings. I'm going to say, I want site information and then view all site settings. Once I've done so in this view, go to under site actions, click manage site features. And as I scroll down, you're going to see here, it says spaces in preview, allow users to create mixed reality spaces in a site. So we're going to go ahead and click activate. And there we go. It's been activated. We're going to go back to our home page and we will now see when we click this drop down off the home page, there's our spaces. Now to create that space, it's going to just create a page with that viewer. So what I actually am going to do first, now that I have that available, we're going to go into site contents. I need to get some content up there that we can interact with. And we're going to go in our case into our site assets library that's created. And I'm going to create just a folder and we're going to call this 360 picks. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead. There it is. And I now need to upload some images into that. So we're going to go ahead, select upload files. I could have drag and drop files. And here I have a folder called 360. And there are some images, you know, with everything happening right now, I can't actually go to a facility, but I have some that I took previously quite a while ago. And I'm going to go ahead and just select all those select open. It's going to start uploading, uploading five. There are our images here and you can see we have those available. So we're going to come on back to our home page. And now let's create our tour. So we're just going to call this facilities tour. You can call it anything you would like. Again, this is just to get you started. Uh, I will include a zip file with my little sample. 360 images so you can go ahead and grab those but I can give it a space description if I wanted and then it has structure this is actually the beginnings of our navigational element so I could do a terrace see the disk here and the disk here and here and here's two disks this indicates where we're going to place our icons on so in this case I'm just going to keep it real simple I'll use the one I used before I'm going to select amphitheater click create there we go. We can now see that it has that viewer here and I can already have this three dimensional view of this terrace. There's those, that three dimensional structure, but we have some imagery back there. That's kind of pretty. Maybe I don't want that. So what I'm going to co come here and do is we're going to click space design and that's the first thing. So here you can see, here's the name. I have facilities. I have a description I can put. It has for background image. Here are a number of pre canned images that are here. So I can go ahead. I can just choose a color or if I have a custom 360 file of my own, I could add that there. We'll look at that in a future uh, one. We're just going to select something pretty basic here. There we go. It has a welcome message. I can do an audio file to welcome people. Again, if they're wearing a headset, Maybe we want to have that kind of that immersive experience. I can have an ambient sound playing in the background, right? So I can have music and audio file rain. Maybe the audio file is a kind of explanation and welcoming and walk through again of what's going on here. So I have all that available. Okay. And we're going to go very simple today. When I'm done, I go ahead and close that and we're then going to go ahead. I'm just going to publish that and leave it for a second. Notice it gives an address. Now with that address, I can go directly with a headset. 
I could copy that. We're going to just close it. But notice we also have here a view for headset. So if I do hook up a headset to my PC, when I get here, I can automatically open it and navigate to it. Again, simple. What I want to do, though, is add this view that we're going to populate in just a second to our team. So we have, here's our new team that we have. So we're going to come here to add a tab. We're going to select SharePoint, that simple. It gives us some pages that are already there. There's that facilities one. I'm going to click Save. And you'll notice, there it goes, it's rendered. Here's that same three-dimensional uh, view. So now what we need to do is populate it to look something like this. Well, again, this is simple. We're going to select Edit, preparing your page for editing we have a little plus arrow. Now when we select that, notice what we get. Some new object types that are showing. I can do a 360 image, a 360 video, 360 object. Maybe I have a medical diagram. Uh, we have a breakout of a molecule or something else. That's there. I can show document library views, file, an image. If I want to create something, you know, really uh, attractive looking, as far as navigation, I could do images with links and other things, but we're going to go ahead here and just stick with the simple. So I'm going to select 360 image. Notice it's bringing me to place it somewhere on that disk that was there. So I'm going to go ahead and just place this one here. And it then asks to see. So I'm going to go ahead and say it's from this site, site assets, 360 picks. Boom, we'll pick the first one and done it gives it a little pillar it gives a little globe kind of image i can then go ahead and we'll just add some text to that we'll call this here image one and then we'll go ahead and close that and i can go ahead and re put that wherever i'd like we're going to then add another 360 image we'll place this one we're just going to do three of them. Real quick, we'll put this one here. We'll go again from the site. You can see how easy this is. This is point and click. Go to the 360 image. We'll go take number two. Click open. We'll add some text onto that. We'll call this one image two. There we go. We'll close that. We can again re-situate that where we'd like and so on and so forth we'll put one last one to kind of round this out go to site site assets 360 and we'll take a third image there we go done let's go ahead and add some text to that put that here we'll call this image three close that reposition there we go and again, we could get very fancy with this. As you can see, we could be adding images instead of these, and then we could link and connect. But once we're done, I'm going to go ahead and click Republish. And look, now we have this three-dimensional navigation. I might want to work pulling those down. But I have here, there we go. There's those three-dimensional images. And the beauty of it is with any of these low-cost cameras, you know, that are available that do these 360. The software that accompanies them allows me to also, if I wanted to, I could tag objects so as people look, they could say, oh, what is this? Oh, this is a data center behind here that's been you know, <laughs> pulled out and put to the cloud. Um, this is Couch X, this is the waiting room. I could put somebody's name, I could put a name on my shiny head there. And when we click a second time, we can exit and we can go back and forth. And again, we could number out here. We have some IOT stuff so we could go ahead and we could label that as well. And people will get this virtual tour. But the beauty of it is we did it in a SharePoint site that was underlying this team. So now if we come back, let's click out, then let's click back. Now that it's been saved. There, here is that exact same navigational experience, right? People can come in and do exactly what we were seeing previously, right? And there's image three, a third one. Here's a room. We could have all the pieces labeled in it. So we know, you know, here's this old 360 view 
Um, there's a whiteboard, there's a Surface Hub, all that's available. And again, if we wanted to have video, audio, whatever the case is, it's all available for exploration. This just becomes, in this view, our three-dimensional navigation into things. We're going to look at some very sophisticated ones and future ones, including creating a virtual, uh, if you had, let's say, like a trade event or something like that, and you wanted to have virtual booths and all that, you could do that. And again, we have headset view here, so we could even go immersive. It's simple. It's easy. It's built in SharePoint spaces. And again, to activate that, all we had to do was come here. We went to site information. We went to view all site settings. We went to manage site features. And then down here, we enabled spaces, which is in preview. And that's it. Simple and easy. So that's it, it's easy, right? SharePoint Spaces is rocking. It's in preview, you can start leveraging it now, start getting your feet wet. As I said, I'll include some sample ones if you don't mind looking at this, with my shiny head, um, so you can just get your feet wet, but you can start searching out there. Look out on the web for medical you know, models and molecules and all kinds of good stuff that you can start playing around with, dumping them in there, rendering them out creating vir this kind of virtual reality navigation. It's, it's gonna be fun for you, but it also has great application as we move forward, looking at all kinds of ways to extend. And that's the beauty, right, of Microsoft Teams and SharePoint. They're together, they're not separate, it's not either or, it's no, it's both. And here's another example how we take the platform and extend it in ways that others just can't with you know, just a simple messaging system, right? This is much more than that. It, it becomes that single pane of glass where you get work done. So with that, this is Mike Giannotti. You can always, again, find myself and my colleagues at our blog at aka.ms slash HLS blog. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn at Mike Giannotti. You can find me on Twitter at Giannotti. And finally, on Facebook at M Giannotti. I have a page there. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you found it fun. And I'd like to see what you're doing and getting started with SharePoint Spaces and bring them on into Teams. With that, this is Mike Giannotti bidding you have a great day. Happy Spaces. Take care and as always, ciao.